Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Kasper Eskland has been a big name in Denmark for many years in terms of cycling, but now after his 2021 Tour of Flanders triumph, the world has begun to recognize the De Koenig Quickstep superstar in the making. And it wasn't just the victory, it was the manner of the victory that surprised the world by Kasper Eskland managing to match Macho van der Poel and outsprint the defending champion to cross the finishing line first and thereby becoming the first Danish winner of the race since 1997 when Rolf Sørensen won. But Kasper Eskren has had many notable results since his transfer to Quickstep Floors in 2018 from Team Virtue Cycling. His first appearance with Quickstep was as part of the roster that helped Fabio Jakobsen take the win at the Skilderpriest. And another notable result in his first year with the team was being part of the World Team Time Trial victory in Innsbruck at the World Championships that year. And he also rode the Vuelta Espana for the first time in his career. In the 2019 season, in his first ever monument, Kaspar Eskrein managed to clinch a second place in the Ronde van Vlaanderen after the winner Alberto Betiel. But what made this podium spot even more impressive was that Eskain initially had other duties within the team, sharing the workload at the head of the bunch with Tim de Klerk and Ilio Kaiser. Not only that, Eskain also jumped away from the field with 50 kilometers to go, marking a very dangerous move from Stein Vandenberg and Sepp van Mark before he managed to get away from the favorites group and finish behind Alberto Alberto Bessio. Following Eskren's personal success at the Tour of Flanders and also the team success at Paru Bay where Philippe Gilbert won, Eskren went to the Tour of California where he actually won stage 2 into South Lake Toa and he managed to not finish outside the top 10 for the next 4 consecutive stages which even included the Queen stage up to Mount Baldy and this resulted in the Dane getting a 3rd place finish overall behind the eventual 2020 Tour de France winner Tadej Pogacar and Sergio Higuita. On top of this, Kespa Eskain also won the points classification jersey ahead of none other than the record holder of the points classification in the Toro California, Peter Scan. Kespa Eskain went on to do a solid Tour de Swiss that year as well where he finished fifth on the opening time trial and he was also fourth on stage two on a hilly stage which was won by Luis Leon Sanchez. But what this also meant was that Kespa Eskain would take over the leader's jersey as well. Unfortunately, he lost it the very next day to Peter Scan, but in the 19.2 kilometer time trial on stage 8 in Goms, Eskrain managed to finish second only 5 seconds behind the eventual winner and teammate Yves Lampert. His next time trial appearance would be at the Danish National Championships and here he would end the 3 year reign of Martin Toff Mersen and in turn Kaspar Eskrain would win his first senior title. These performances caught the attention of the bosses at Quickstep Floors and controversially at the time Kaspar Eskrain was favoured instead of Philippe Gilbert who had just won Paris-Roubaix. In the Tour de France, Caspar Eskain managed to finish 8th on the time trial on stage 13 and he also got in the breakaway on stage 17 and this was despite teammate Julian Philippe being in the yellow jersey and here Caspar Eskain finished 2nd behind the solo winner Matteo Trentin after Eskain broke away for himself to hunt down Trentin. Eskain's next big race was the European time trial championships and the Dane managed to finish 2nd here behind his younger trade teammate Remco Evenepoel and clinched silver for Denmark. Eskrein then went on to race the Deutschland Tour three weeks later and he started the tour with a sixth place finish on the opening stage and then he went on to win on stage three after he hunted down Jasper Steuben and then out sprinted the Belgian star to the finish line. In the 2020 season in Kern, Brussels, Kern, Eskrein broke away with 29 kilometers to go with two other riders, Jans and Valet, and with 13 kilometers to go, Eskrein and Valet were the only riders left and had 21 seconds to the chasing bunch. Eskrein managed to drop Valet and finish solo into the line ahead of the rampaging sprinters. Kaspar Eskrein managed to go on to win the national Danish road race title and he also won the Danish national time trial title again a bit later on. Plus at the Imola World Championships the Dane managed to finish 6th in the time trial 47 seconds behind the home favourite Filippo Ghana. In the rescheduled Flanders Classics that year, Eskrein managed to finish 11th and get Wevelgem and 
9th in the Tour of Flanders. And of course now in the later season 2021, SK managed to win the E3 Saxo Bank Classic title after attacking with 66 kilometers to go with his teammates marking every move behind him but Eskain was ultimately caught with 13 kilometers to go but Eskain persevered and attacked again with 4.8 kilometers to go and no one would see the Dane again until he crossed the finish line and of course one week later then Eskain would go on to win his biggest victory in his career thus far at an age of 26 but surely there's more to come from this imperious Dane and he's certainly a superstar in the making and it will be very interesting to see what he will do in Paris-Roubaix in October this year and even the Flanders World Championships later on as well. That's it for this video and if you've liked it why not subscribe to our channel as well and as always thank you for watching and have a nice day.